Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. How do you say uh, a welcome in Hindi? You say namaste, right? So namaste to the Hindi viewers. Anyways, welcome back to Salar Khan YouTube channel. Uh, voltage regulator circuit we are discussing and I already I always say that when I'm teaching the video I I assume that you've already watched the previous video and you're coming in a proper order so we've seen the introduction today we see is what we see the load regulation part we see the load regulation so case number two you could say this is the load regulation now what do you have is in this case RL would be variable RL is variable and we will try we will keep what the input voltage constant and I told you that the output voltage would be constant irrespective of the changes in the circuit so RL variable will have no effect on the output it would still be constant yes yes so let us start analyzing the circuit so you want me to place an arrow over here so let me place it let me place it over here you have a variable rl when the load resistance is too small when the load resistance is too small the voltage across it would be almost zero which means the voltage across the z diode would be almost zero it would be very small which means that the z diode will not turn on so you have to find a minimum value of that resistance for which the diode should turn on rl is variable of course you would have the minimum and a maximum values yes yes so you can see you can see first first of all that i this i is equal to what the input current this is equal to iz plus il iz plus il right and this i is fixed why is this i fixed because this depends on i is equal to vi minus vz upon r yes yes i is equal to vi minus vz upon r so this i this value of the current is fixed this is a fixed current this is not variable right yes now what do you have if i n is if i this i is fixed and you know that i l is variable if i l is variable so this means that i z also has to be variable i z also has to be variable so we can have a maximum and a minimum values which means that you can have i is equal to i z plus i l so if this i z is maximum i l would be minimum or you could have the value of i as i z plus i l if i z is minimum i l is maximum yes yes now the maximum zener current basically is not given we are basically given the power rating of a device so from from that you can find it out yes and the other thing is the minimum zener current that is iz minimum this is also known as the knee current you already know iz minimum this is equal to iz k which is the knee current of the diode which is the minimum current in the reverse region and this is basically provided this is if if you are given a question in the exam this is provided and this is provided in the data sheet of the diode right yes if not given you can assume it a very small value make even you can assume it a zero ampere even you can assume it as a zero amperes anyways now il il is what so il is also variable right il is a variable you have il this is vl upon rl you could say v not upon rl right v not if for instance i am writing the case v not upon rl now the voltage regulator circuit is also called a shunt circuit shunt regulator circuit why because the load resistance is collected in a in parallel to the the, the, the diode 
anyways now you know that this rl is variable if this rl is variable so il has to be variable why because the we output this is a fixed quantity we are studying what we are studying the topic of load regulation in which what would be the case output has to be constant in any case so here we look. now again you can have il minimum il maximum so the load current il would be minimum when when the load resistance is maximum right yes and similarly the load current will be minimum if you have the load resistance to be minimum uh, this would be minimum if this is maximum this would be maximum if this is minimum you could find out cross multiplication in this and that now uh, what happens is that you are given uh, if no load condition if you have a no load condition so i told you in the previous video i believe as well that the no load condition is when your rl is infinity no load does not means you have no current this means that you have a very high resistance no sorry no load does not mean that you have no resistance it mean a very high resistance okay so no load implies what that rl is equal to infinity so which means that in this case uh, this is infinity so you have it zero il is zero right so if il is zero this would imply that il minimum or you could say il is simply equal to zero right if il is zero so i i the input current is equal to i z the input current i is equal to the diode current z and of course it would be maximum for that case il would be minimum for this case and iz would be maximum for that case right yes similarly the power dissipation the power dissipation p would be equal to vz times iz power dissipation and if you talk about the maximum power dissipation so the maximum power dissipation would be pm which would be z and iz m iz maximum right the maximum power dissipation is equal to the minimum power rating is equal to the minimum power rating so if you are given minimum power rating so you do not have to multiply it with an iz minimum yes yes you know the reason what is power rating so basically the power rating should be greater than the maximum as well but generally for the for this purpose you can do it like this if you see the options in your exam and the exact vz into iz maximum is not present in the options so you go for a value which is a little greater than this one fine fine sir so we have got the values we have got the values let us go into an example let us go to an example so uh where is the example example 2.27 example 2.27 of the book wait let me just do it in a hurry so these are the things that you need to know so i would write over here is the example 2.27 the circuit is the same the circuit is the same uh determine the range of rl and il so which means minimum and maximum both are unknown range of rl and il is uh, unknown that will result in vrl for being maintained at 10 volts so which means the output voltage is given which is equal to 10 volts right yes and determine the maximum wattage rating so wattage rating is p rating and i've not drawn it i've not given you the total values of the question and which means i have not given you the total uh, the the total information we are also given input voltage input voltage is 50 volts uh, we are given vz is 10 volts right so we not is 10 volts 
Okay, then we have uh, IZ maximum is given is 32 milliamperes. IZ maximum is a 32 milliamperes. Right? Yes. So now what do you do? You have to find out the, the range of R. So the first, the, the minimum resistance that should turn on the diode. So if the diode turns on, the output voltage in that case would turn, come out to be 10 volts. Right? Isn't it like this? It is. So if you have, uh, this is the case. Uh, I is equal to Vi minus Vz upon R if you calculate. So you have a, a 50 minus 10 upon what? 50 minus 10 upon in the value of R I did not give you again. This is a 1 kilo ohms. This is a 1 kilo ohms. R is equal to 1 kilo ohms. So let me just go stepwise. Let me just go stepwise. So this I would be what? This I would be Vi minus Vz upon R. So have a look. Uh, Vi minus Vz upon R is what? Uh, 50 minus 10 upon 1 kilo ohms so this makes it a 40 milliamperes i is 40 milliamperes yes yes now uh, what is the case this is equal to iz plus il so i is equal to iz plus il and i and i have the value of i is fixed i have the value of iz maximum i can find out the value of il minimum i can find out the value of il minimum so if you have il minimum so you can just find it out from here that i which is 40 minus iz maximum which is a 32 milliamperes so this comes out to be 8 milliampere is the minimum uh, value of the current and isn't it like this it is right yes so now what do you have uh, you can find out uh, the 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 load the load resistance that is the maximum load resistance so v not has to be maintained at a 10 volts so rl maximum would come out to be what using this formula v not by il minimum v not 10 by 8 and 10 by 8 would be what it would be a 1.25 kilo ohms right yes now now what do you have uh, il maximum you can find out so you have to find out rl minimum so you can find out the current as well over here so if you have iz minimum you would require now you don't have iz minimum you don't have iz minimum you've got your il minimum you've got your rl maximum now il uh, maximum would come from rl maximum and where would rl maximum come from hmm? Now this is a, a point. We can do what? We can have it from here RL minimum. So this RL minimum would be what? It would be R times Vz divided by Vi minus Vz. This is from the voltage divider rule. I cannot do it again and again the same step wise. You can just take from here RL. Uh, you, could, you could see what? Is R times Vz divided by vi minus vz so this is from the formula that i'm using again and again the voltage across this over here right and i've just simply written it as vz directly so i would name it as rl minimum why because just that voltage that v that i name it so this i i got from that v right so if i name it over here like this is rl minimum if that is just equal so i name it as equal and this is the minimum load resistance required right yes we are minus vz right yes so from here if you put the values of r you have the value of vz you have the value of vi you get it as a 250 ohms you get it as a 250 ohms right so you've got your rl minimum now you can find out the value of il maximum so il maximum would be what il maximum would be v naught which is 10 and it would be divided by a 250 and il maximum so where is it don't know where is it il maximum so anyway it's not given in the book i don't know why but just you can find it just do it just do it divided for yourself and the power rating power rating of the device would be what power rating so this would be equal to uh, vz times iz maximum 
so you have your vz which is 10 and iz maximum which is what iz maximum is already given it's a 32 milliampere so you have it as a 320 milliwatts right yes similarly you can find out ir which would be vr upon r you can find out vr by doing what by doing vi minus vz you can also find other quantities there's a vr you could find it by finding vi minus vz then you could find out you have vi you have vz right then you can find out ir which is equal to vr upon r you have these two values right yes and then you can find il minimum from over here as well you can find out il minimum from over here as well this one i minus iz maximum yes yes or whatever is the case let it be rl maximum is vz by il minimum and this and that i have more i have an example or two on this uh, more as well but i don't have the stamina i got a little tired so i'll do it tomorrow yes and just one thing before i finish the video before i finish the video so you may have got confused with this rl minimum so with this rl minimum what was the case basically we, we found out that we the the voltage which was across that the the open circuited element that we saw the over here that we named it as v so this uh, this we input rl divided by r plus rl right this came out as the voltage where we saw this V, this V, right? So this should be greater than the zener potential of the diode. This voltage, which was the output voltage, this came out like this. This should be greater than zener potential to make it as uh, what? To make it as uh, to make it break down, right? But just to make it break down, the minimum value of resistance, I would just put an equal sign over here. I would just put an equal sign over here, and that value of resistance would be the RL minimum so r plus rl minimum do the cross multiplications and whatever the stuff is you get an rl minimum over here right yes so that is it about this video i have uh, about I, I believe two more examples let's say but i don't have the stamina right now to finish them so i see in the next video most probably with the examples continued on this topic till the next video take care of yourselves and everyone around you do remember me in your prayers goodbye